Ah, Sweden. Known for meatballs, IKEA, and Volvo. I'm at the Volvo 1990 event to see these. Their two new flagship, the petrol hybrid XC40 and the full electric EX90. Let's see what they have to offer. So welcome inside the EX90. So at this 1990 event, we've seen how Volvo are releasing three variants of this vehicle. Your mild hybrid, your plug-in hybrid, and my personal favorite, right? The full electric EX90. Now, it's interesting to know that the two cars actually live on two different platforms. That is why in the electric version, for example, we have the LiDAR scanner on the roof and we don't find that in the internal combustion variant. Now that internal combustion stays on the existing platform, which has quite a bit of legacy now, right? So up nearly 1 million units sold since 2015. That was the second iteration of the car. But everybody's looking at this, the full electric version. This is the future. And just to explain a bit what that LiDAR is, right? So the, ca the car has a number of cameras. You've got a camera in the front, you've got two cameras in the windshield, another two cameras in the side mirror, another two cameras on the other side mirror, and the camera at the back. So literally a whole film studio worth of cameras capturing the world around you. And that is done to keep you and the people around you safe. Now, besides the cameras, Volvo are adding this LiDAR system. The LiDAR is a laser system essentially, so the LiDAR sits on at the top of the car. It fires lasers at the world, it times how long the, the, the light takes to come back to the car, and using that information, they can create an accurate 3D model of the world around you. Now, that is going to be used once again for safety. However, at this point, Volvo are simply collecting the data. It is not connected to the car's, say, automatic emergency braking system. So this is future-proofing the car, and eventually the updates will follow to activate that system as well. But it's, it's worth getting excited about, right? This is a big thing. I'm not a fan of the design, right? I think they've... Um, put it there but to be fair the sensors are quite large and i guess eventually as time goes by they will get a bit smaller and therefore they can hide them into the design of the car a lot better but a lot of interesting news coming from volvo what i want to end with is last time we heard volvo saying that they will be all electric right by 2030 they've changed a bit their direction right today they said they will be all electric by 2030 but they will continue to offer vehicles with hybrid powertrains right particularly for the markets which will not have evolved um, to allow for full electrification so this isn't a volvo problem not going full electric this is a market problem so there will be places around the world which because of the infrastructure because of the politics aren't ready to go electric but volvo are straying through to their mission all right, that just about wraps up today's video about this Volvo 1990 event. Plenty to look forward to, and as Volvo believe themselves, I hope I've convinced you once again that the future is electric.